We got multiple bots. Boom! Oh my god, bro! Wow! Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Winnie. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're hopping back into the beta, and we've got something really insane that I want to show you guys. If we go to Evo Ground, we have two brand new modes, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, just more Evo Ground stuff. You're right. We haven't really had super exciting Evo Ground content in a while. Payload was awesome for like a week. And then we all just go right back to classic matches, right? But I think this might actually be really, really fun. And when you see it, I hope you're going to think the same thing too. So we have this new Matrix mode that we'll get into. But it's right now it's on Erangel. But it's also on Livic. I tried it on Livic. And when you see how this mode works, it, Livic might not be the best map for it. Because it's too fast. Uh, the map, uh, you know, the match is over in like 15 minutes. Erangel seems to be the perfect spot for it. So we're going to play that today. We're going to turn off auto matchmaking because I can't get a match if I have teammates. So let's get right into it as a solo. And I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about Matrix mode. All right, so we're in the match. Let's check it out. So we've got the Matrix event. All of these orange little triangles all over the map, those are going to be like these kind of pop-up like laboratories. And inside, you can go get an exosuit. Yes, you read that or you heard that right, an exosuit. There's different components. There's like a body piece. There's a leg piece. There's like arm pieces, and you can put it together one by one. Now, what you have to do is drop into the yellow circle. So we've got these kind of hot drop spots where you can collect much better loot that's in those areas and these special cubes that you need to collect in order to get the exosuit. So how about we drop it Rozak or uh, maybe Georgia Pool? I don't know. Maybe Rozak's going to be a little bit better. Rozak doesn't have the best loot, but you guys will see what I mean. So we're going to jump into Rozak, see if we can get some good stuff, and then we're going to go find some of these orange little laboratories and get ourselves some robotic equipment. Now here's one of those laboratories. See the orange thing on the mini-map? And we have this giant, like... I, honestly, it's like a pop-up little trailer. It's like a portable building thing. Oh, we got a couple bots spawning. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can find some good stuff. We are in that yellow area, so this is going to have a higher frequency. Here's those cubes I was telling you guys about. They spawn, and they are called nano crystals. This is going to be... Ow, dude. Really? Really came right and just shoved that gun right in my face. Oh, did I pop his helmet off? Come back here. You come shoot me, but you're not man enough to face me. There we go. So we picked up some of those nano crystals. Yo, this guy has some decent stuff. What the heck? All right, so we have 500. We can pick up 500 at a time. But we're going to have to find a heck of a lot more. Now, the other piece that we really need for these exosuit parts are blueprints. You're going to see, like, blue maps. Here's more nano crystals. We'll pick those up. I've got a thousand. Oh, did I not get them? There we go. Yeah, I need those crystals. Now we're at 1500. That should be good for one of the pieces. Now we can actually check out. We've got some uh, pretty sick drops that spawn. You see that blue light shining above it. And this should have good stuff. I checked out one in Novo recently and that had a flare gun inside. It actually had two flares, but it was glitching and I couldn't pick up the other one. Okay, this one does have a flare. We've got some nano crystals. So look, I picked up the flare gun. And it says there's another flare gun, so there's a bit of a glitch going on here, but no, unfortunately, that's not two flares, it's just one. So we'll call a flare here at Roz. Can't remember the last time I found a flare gun at Rozak, but okay. There it is, right here, we got the blueprint. See, there's different pieces, there's a body, there's a leg suit, there's uh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, we found another one? Oh, sick, okay, this is good. Um, let's pick that up, we got two of those. I want to see if I can get a full exosuit here out of Rozak, that'd be pretty insane. Alright, this is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I've never redeemed two pieces at once from uh, one of these things, so let's find out. So, here we go. You can only equip one of each body part. We've got hand pieces, a body piece, and we've got leg pieces. Should have enough for all three of them, honestly. Let's go with, uh, let's do the arms first. Got that. Oh, dang, I don't have enough materials at all, but look at this. So, we got a, uh, we got some pretty beefy, uh, armor on our and we got like basically the whole bomb suit too let's see what we uh let's see if what happens if we punch somebody with these things i'm not entirely sure what the uh does he like reload super fast like what's up hmm oh yeah i feel like his melee i feel like his melees do so much damage. That's crazy. Let's see if we can find out what uh, what any of these things say here. So if we open this up, not sure what the checkbox does. It's like hide hide nano suit or not. So we've got uh, some fists. 
Let me see if I can whip out the good old Google Translate and find out what this means here. If anybody in chat can uh, speak both languages, English and Chinese, let me know. Melee attack. You can kill enemies in seconds, and the covered armor can provide extra holes or ex extra additional damage reductions. Okay, so the Google Translate's not perfect, but it says in melee attacks, it can kill enemies in seconds, and the covered armor can provide additional protection. So that's kind of what we guessed, yeah. When I was punching those guys, I was getting some big white hit markers, doing lots of damage with the uh, the melee attacks. Now let's find a few more cubes, because it looks like we do need a lot. We're, we're just short of getting another component here. All right, next piece, we're going to use this. We're going to get the legs picked up, exoskeleton leg armor. Now we've got leg armor plates, and we've got kind of like a mechanical system here. Check this out, guys. You know the good old-fashioned double jump? Bada-bing. Bada-boom, dude. It's crazy. He just goes so far. He can go like 100 meters, and then it runs out, and it recharges fairly quickly. We're talking recharges in like 15 seconds, and I can use that again. You can shoot while you're doing it. It's just awesome. We found some more cubes here, 200. Another blueprint. I'm going to just pick that up just for my little collection here. So we've got 700 cubes, nine more blueprints. If we can just get 500 more cubes, we're going to have the complete exoskeleton set here. So check this out. We're going to pull out our M4 right now. Jetpack across. I can ADS. ADS is kind of wacky, but I can still I can still hit fire and everything just like normal. All right, here we go. We're going to get this third thing right now. All we need left is the armor. Exoskeleton breastplate. Yo, it sounds like an RPG, man. We got the full thing. The legs, the arms, and the body. Let me pull out Translate. I want to see if there's any effect on uh, these pieces of equipment that I just don't know about yet. Extra face protection while adding more material load capacity. Okay, there we go. That's the Translate we were looking for. It can increase our, like, bag capacity, it looks like. High pressure power propulsion can fly forward for a certain distance in the air and covers additional re damage reduction. That's what the leg piece says, so... Looks like we can carry more, we can, uh, we can jetpack around, we can punch, like, freaking Muhammad Ali, dude, this is great. See this guy? Alright, we have a bot for testing purposes. We're gonna just do a little bada-bing, bada-boom. Taking him out, there we go. Easy. Put our gun away, just come over, bam, bam, oh my god, dude. Can I hit this? Oh, is this, that's not a real guy, that's also a bot, right? Let me see if I can hit him with a haymaker. Oh, we went for it. I love it. Just the, the two-tap knock is crazy. All right. Now we got to go. We got to go explore around. There's one other thing I want to show you guys. I don't think we have any. Oh, we do. We have a buggy. We're going to go for that. So one of the cool things, actually, with this leg suit is that when you are um, in a vehicle and you're going very fast and you jump out, you don't take any damage at all. I want to say it's no fall damage, period, but I've tested it in vehicles, right? So let's get up to a nice... Nice high speed here. We got 120 kilometers an hour out of the buggy. And normally, right now, this would kill me. Nope, no problem. Just get some freaking leg armor, bro. Don't skip leg day, man. No problem. So you, we, th th this, this mode, guys, right now is going to be just so action-packed. We're going to have people flying around. We're going to have people punching each other in, like, one-hit knockouts. We're going to be able to fly into fights with buggies or UAZs and just jump out and immediately start fighting. You don't need to slow down. You don't have to try to park. You could just jump out. It's so sick. I think if I was playing squads, obviously I found a ton of cubes and I found a ton of blueprints. I still have nine extra blueprints. But at least as a squad, I feel like we're all going to get the jetpacks and then just go ham. The, the leg part, 100% the most OP. No fall damage. And you can just jump out of vehicles and like not get hurt at all. And it has a built-in jetpack? Dude, that's crazy. What if we're flying in the buggy, and I jump out, and then jetpack? Like, can we chain together? Just, like, insane stuff I want to try. Let's see if we can pick up, like, good speed here. No worries, no worries. Jump out. Oh! Oh, it kind of worked! Yo, it kind of worked! Get on the roof, get on the roof, get on the roof! Almost. Okay, almost. But you guys see what I was trying to do? That actually kind of worked. Oh, what's this? Is this a red drop? This looks like an orange drop. Oh, yo, wait, what up? We have brand new... This is sick. We got the level 3 helmet now. Now we're fully kitted out, dude. The Matrix base station is equipped with a new type of signal tower. And all cleared. Each use can recall all eliminated teams. Oh, wait. This is a recall tower? 
Oh, what did I just do? Oh my god, wait, what? What is this? Hold on. I just realized I have a brand new button. What is this? Oh, bro, he's just like, boom. We gotta use that on a bot. Sorry, bots. You're just literally like my test. My like little lab rats. We gotta use that. Okay, so it looks like this also might act as a recall tower. Is that what this is? Oh boy, oh boy, we got a bot coming in, bro. He's coming. Oh god, he's coming. You know what he needs? He needs a nice blast of fire straight to the face. Come here, buddy. I knocked him out with something. He's just on fire. We got another one coming in. Boom, dude, what the heck? I don't even know. It, it says, it looks like in the kill feed it was an M16. Alright, bot. Come here. We got multiple bots. Boom! Oh my god, bro! Wow! We literally chained together a, a jump and an explosion. How th This thing has a lot of range. Let's do it again. I'm coming for you, buddy. Okay, that was not as epic. Boom! Oh my god. I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's like a grenade and like a Molotov at the same time. Right here. Ready? I'm out. Boom! That's right. It's as easy as that. Oh, we got another one. I don't think I can. Oh, what are you doing? Bro, he's just like T-posing. He's just like... <laughs> what the heck? Top speed. We're out. And we're just going to go bomb a nose. Boom. Ace. Got him. Done. There's one. We're out. Oh, we're jetpacking. Let's go. Yo, the, the ADS was a little weird. When you're flying in the air like that, the, the aim down sights, like, goes all wonky, man. I wonder, like, what happens if I crash into, like, this hay bale? And it, will it, like, launch me upward? That's what I want to see. Like, if I do this? Nope. Okay, that didn't... Oh, God. I didn't do anything. Oh, shoot. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to, like jump with the jetpack like off the top of the hay bale and see if it would like skid me up because when you jump it just kind of goes out at like a normal angle but i think if you could hit like an awkward angle you might be able to jetpack like straight into the air or something crazy but there we go yo new exoskeleton inside this matrix mode there's laboratories it looks like you can actually recall teammates you can literally two punch people with freaking metal arms jetpacks you can fall out of vehicles with no fall damage That's, there's no fall damage from falling from like really high cliffs and stuff this mode is really interesting and i can't wait to see what it's going to be like when we have uh like i said all squads and like sweaty players and like teammates and all this stuff this was kind of low-key but we're still in the beta here so when this comes out to global which i don't know when that is going to be if you guys have questions of how you can download the beta look and see in uh inside of pubg mobile and under all the events there's all those different tabs and stuff you can get like free scraps everything there it should be a like beta test or like test like server test build mode you can generate a code in PUBG Mobile to then go and download the beta and put that code in to get access to the beta. One account in PUBG Mobile can then link to one account in the PUBG Mobile beta. So I generated my code and now I'm in the beta. So that's that's how you guys do that. I hope that helps. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to probably play a little bit more here. So if I can get some more videos with this uh, jetpack. It looks really interesting. I've got some good ideas. But that's all I'm going to show you guys for today. I think that we, uh, we looked at a lot for sure. But that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you next time.